my bro, so if I gotta choose someone, then it must be her. She here since day one. I guess I'm gonna have to call her back. I guess I'm gonna have to call her back. I guess we gonna have to go here, London, Paris, and Montego Bay. I guess I'm gonna have to call her back. I guess she gonna have to scream my name. Now every time that she comes to the crib, I'ma break her back. Like I What is going on everybody? It's me, Leo Lopez, back at it again with this video shit. It's just another day in paradise, ain't it? Well, at least in Idaho Falls, it's not. It looks like it's snowing out there right about now. Anyways, I am so sorry that I have not been posting. I've been so busy. I've been, uh, I got school going on. I got work going on. I got coaching going on, which actually about that, we went to Vegas, guys, and it was fun. The boys played four games. They did well. They started off amazing. Yes, did you play last game? Yeah, that's what you were talking about. How's the game? Good. Did you guys win or lose? Uh, we won. Of course we did. No. Let's get it! Don't know. <laughs> How did the younger team do? Kicked that. What's up, mama? What do you want to say about the younger boys? I love the younger boys. They're awesome. How do yeah. they do? Fabulous. Amazing. Yeah. Good job. And then here comes Freddy. <laughs> Vegas has been amazing. How was the weather today? Warm. And then now it's freaking cold. Oh, yeah, it's so cold. Freddy forgot his pants. So he's wearing shorts right now. You gotta be prepared like me. You see what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you got everything. That bag right there, I bought it specifically for like winter, raining, me cago los calzones. Let me see. Winter? You ain't got no sweater. It's right here. But, uh, but, but the freaking chamas is for. No, no. It's right no. here. No, no, for it. Guys, word of the day. Let's get it! Here comes the main coach. Hold up, let's zoom in real quick. No, ask her, ask her. I thought she, she wasn't cold. She was from fire. Yeah. Ask her, ask her, ask her. Hey, Trina, I thought you weren't cold. Yeah, I keep walking. <laughs> yeah, okay. What do you have to say about the teams? Looking really good, really solid. Yeah. Are they? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? They all have a little bit of attitude and a little scrape on the butt, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Two wins. We got this. two. One, the first one was two to one. The second one was one to zero against. You forgot who you guys Another played? soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Things happened. It went downhill and they had fun. We all had fun. The weather was great. I'm happy that the the day that we left, it actually got kind of chilly. But we didn't have to play, so that, that's good. That Friday that we got there, the weather was beautiful it was so warm you can tell the difference from going from idaho falls to vegas and then we came back that following monday we were there for president's day weekend so we got back last week monday night it was pretty cool yeah that's what's been going on my birthday my birthday just passed my birthday weekend was this past weekend today is thursday uh my birthday was on sunday i went out Saturday night to this Mexican dance that was held here in Idaho Falls at Pinecrest. It was a pretty famous band, Mexican band. And it was pretty cool, it was packed, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that place is pretty big. It got filled up with quite a few people. One of the things I did not like about it was the fact that the tickets at first is a, you know, a reasonable price, a 40 bucks, and you could buy them beforehand. At the door, they were charging 60 bucks. I wasn't really a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff. I get people want to make money, but that's too much. And I know we're in Idaho Falls, but come on, let's be realistic. Just 50 would have been all right, you know? You got them late, here's your guys' price. And then the drinks. Oh God, don't get me started. Holy cow. A beer was five bucks, okay? A bucket was 30 bucks. Usually when you buy a bucket, it's because they're discounting you even if it's a dollar, you know, even if it's a dollar, they discount you. You would think that they put six, uh, six cans in a, in a, in a bucket. Instead of charging you 30 bucks is 30, you know, because five times six is 30. Instead of charging you 30 bucks, they could have charged you like 
28, even 29, 25, because you're buying a bigger portion. But they they wouldn't even do that, all right? Then they were also selling cases of beer. So you would think that they would drop the price on that too because you're buying a bigger amount. No, a case of beer was 60 bucks and it was the cans, okay? We're not talking bottles, we're talking cans. And a 12 pack of cans, 60 bucks. It's crazy because they they had people that were buying them, but that's just, it's it's stupid. In my opinion, it's stupid. And I made sure to not buy any. Um, yeah, my friends bought some and they gave me some, but I'd rather not spend my, I don't know, I'm kidding. Their shots were 10 bucks. And another thing, all right? You would think that they would have a really good setup for their bar, but it wasn't even a real setup. They had uh, lawn tables, like the plastic ones, the rubber made. I think they were the, the longer ones. So they had one, two, three, four, five, six. They had it like this, like a square. It was dumb. But I had a good time. It was kind of boring at first. It seemed kind of unorganized. It seemed like, so one band would stop playing. They didn't have it planned, so should we play it? Should we have the DJ play? Or should we keep the music off? No, they kept the music off. And then the next band would play and then they'd be done. They'd keep the music off. And then finally, I think they got across and they're like, you know what, we should probably play a DJ in between bands. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Anyways, it was the first night of my birthday weekend. The second night, well, the actual night of it, Sunday, I went to Jalisco's with my family and a few friends came home. We had cake and some crazy stuff happened. Not crazy alcohol, like let's just say some people wanted to spray some stuff on me. Happy birthday, Bunny! Yup. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday! I appreciate it. I really do. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I went through. Uh, cake was amazing. It had a basketball on it. For all of you who know, I love basketball. I don't play it as much here because it's not really a big thing around here. Monday night, the 26th, uh, my family actually made me my favorite meal, morisqueta. For those of you who don't know, it is, uh, it's a Michoacan thing. I, okay, that's what I've heard, all right? I, if somebody else wants to correct me out there that it's not a Michoacan thing because there's always someone, you know what, my bad, but I was raised to know that it's a Michoacan thing. It's got rice, beans, and meat, and chili, and sauce, chili sauce, and it's amazing. You eat it, and it's just, it's so good. So I asked my family, I was like, you know what, I don't want nothing, I want money, I don't want presents, I don't want nothing, I just want one thing, and one thing only, food. Yeah, who doesn't love food, right? So, yeah, that was, it was a pretty good weekend, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's been a while since I've had a pretty good birthday. The last time I had a birthday this good, this amazing, this this perfect, was the last birthday I had with my mommy Chewy, with my grandmother. Uh, that one was pretty crazy. It was my 21st birthday. She made caldo de camarones, and let's just say, I got nailed into the cake so hard that it hit my nose, that hit my nose on the table and it hurt. I don't know who the hell came behind me and just boof. But yeah, that's about it for the weekend. I was not able to record my four month uh, testosterone video, unfortunately, I'm sorry. And that's why I'm here right now. Uh, there hasn't been really much of a change. I will tell you guys though, my facial hair midway of Third, well, about on my third month, somewhere around my third month, it just started just coming out. And I left it long for Vegas. And when as soon as I get back, I, I trimmed it because it, it got kind of itchy. I'm not used to it, you know? Uh, it gets itchy. You really see it, but, but. Yeah, I did get a haircut today, too. I went to Skyline Barbershop, hit them up. They are on Broadway and Skyline. And Nick was the one who cut my hair today, and he, he did. He did amazing. Uh, low taper. And yeah. Oh, also, I got this new stuff. I use um, Suavecito pomade. 
and this is how it leaves my hair um this stuff is amazing but like for my hair it's not strong enough so i got this one which is a limited edition um and it's the cupcake flavor and it, it literally it smells like cupcake um that's what it looks like in there and it's a stronger hold and this is a collab they did a collab out of this one which they usually do i like it i've had i think this is my fourth bottle i've purchased with them and they're always amazing they work great for my hair back to me all right anyways so uh voice is dropping more i don't know if you guys have noticed i actually that's one thing that i've noticed for example in my physics class i don't really talk in there um and i i decided to say something the other day like i really because i had a question you know it's a serious question like unless i really have a real question I'll, just, I'll ask it this girl was like you know what i agree with him and <laughs> it was like getting that 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 thought you know that somebody actually thinks that you're a him is amazing because he has heard before my voice it was ooh, it was like up here it was really high and girly and people would look at me and they would assume that i was a dude but as soon as i started talking they're like hold up and they'd be confused out of their mind um not the only ones that know who i really am with my professors you know but yeah it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. sweating i smell like a dude I stink at the end of the day I shower every day sometimes I shower twice a day I'm a clean freak okay and it just there's is a dude sense like oh god it just it's yeah I gotta shower and it smell good um down here it is a forest oh well, now it isn't because I, I kind of cleaned it up but it grows back crazy and I'm, it's I need to control it basically. You gotta get a lot more room and just go over that shit. <sighs> See? No, I do not grow. I'm not growing. I've had a couple people ask me if I'm growing. No, I'm not. Okay. It's probably just the shoes that I'm wearing. I've got I wear shoes like these. Or no, look at that. Okay. Like those. Um or when I wear my Timberlands, like the boot, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, my other one is these ones. Like, come on. And then there's days where people are like, oh, you're short. Like, oh, of course I am. You know, I've got small shoes, like like Vans, for example. The freaking soles are like that big. Um, But no, I'm not growing. Oh, got my cast off. Well, technically, I didn't get my cast off, but I did. We'll just keep it that way. Um. When they put it on last time, they put it on too loose and I was able to take it off. And like when I would run playing soccer, do anything, it moved a lot and it was bothering me. But you know what? I know it's healing because I can actually do, like when I first took it off, it was really sensitive and it's hard to do stuff. Like I still can't do push-ups. I have to do them like this, but it it was, it was strong and it still kind of is, but it's, I'm gaining muscle again. Cause I'm slowly doing small things, you know. I'm, I'm being smart. I'm not lifting heavy, heavy objects or anything like that. But I'm being smart about it. I'm trying to at least. That's basically it, I think. My jaw. You can see my jawline a little bit better. It looks a little bit more sexier. Look at that. Look at that face. Mm. Oh my legs. Oh my gosh. Not only are they hairy, but they're toning out beautifully. Like, I'm just standing there, and it's like. Whoosh. Um, energy, energy, energy. I'm always on the go. Even though I like taking naps, I like naps a lot. It makes my day go by faster. That's about it. Don't forget to like this, subscribe, comment, hit me up, share this, talk to people about me. I'll talk to people about you. You know, if you comment, I'll be like, hey, so and so said this and this and this and this. I give them a thumbs up in here. <laughs> but yeah, all right. I'll see you guys next time. What's up guys? All right, so today I had quince practice. Um, I was with a few people that are gonna be in the quinceanera, the girl Nayeli, I'm teaching her quinceanera. I'm teaching, when I say that is I'm teaching their uh, surprise dance because that's one of the things that I do uh, that I've never really talked about before in my other videos. And if I did, you know what? I'm just 
reminding you guys and kind of so you guys don't get confused with the next clip that you guys are going to see. Uh, they had a blast today. You know what? And working with these kids has been a lot of fun. Uh, no offense to anyone out there. I'm not trying to offend anyone. But you know what? It makes you realize how much more they pay attention when you just make it fun, you know? Yes, I, I am strict with a lot of people. I am strict when it comes to paying attention to me and the dancing and all that. But you know what? It's also on their side as well. If they want to be there and have fun, it will be uh, more of a positive vibe and a positive environment. And that's what's it's been recently the past the the past few times that we've practiced you know they're ready they love mexican music they come in and they just want to have fun and the practice has just been amazing it's been going by fast everyone's learning a lot quicker than i thought they were going to be uh like at the level they were going to be so with that being said i'm gonna show you guys a little clip because they just you know they wanted to be on the video i'll make sure to put all the links all their Snapchats. I don't have everybody's, but the ones I do have, I'll make sure to put them down below, and then you guys can go ahead and follow them. They're a great group of kids, and uh, y'all can see what's up. What's going on, everybody? It's me, Leo Lopez, back in again with this video. I'm right here with the quinceanera girl. Where's she at? She's right there. Um, Daisy's over here showing off the light. Like, you know that's supposed to be hidden, right? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I got everybody introduce yourselves. Daisy. Okay. 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 Stephanie. Stephanie over here. Oh, Stephanie, what the heck? Nayeli. All right, guys. I'm recording this off my phone because I don't have my camera on me right now. My Snapchat's gonna be down in the description. Down in the description. I'll make sure to put everybody's Snapchat. Sure, whatever the rest is. Thanks All right. for watching. Yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess. It's about time that you get what you need and what you deserve. This love been buzzing like bees. I'm thinking the hell we've been through the worst.